To create a new project, we click New, Mechatronics Concept Designer, select the General Setup template, and provide a convenient name, like Marble Ramp. Then we also select the folder in which we want to save the project and confirm by clicking OK. Here we see an empty ground plane which is predefined in our project. We can start the simulation by clicking play. We see that the time is running, but nothing happens of course, so we click stop. We go to the mechanical concept section to create a sphere. Then we can choose the diameter and the position by clicking on the cross icon. Here we can specify the distances within the coordinate axis. And then we confirm by clicking OK. Twice. Then we start the simulation to see that the marble is not moving and click stop again. We define the marble now as a rigid body by s clicking on select object, then the marble and choose the properties automatic and then provide a name which will tell us that it is a rigid body attribute that we're creating. Let's test what the marble does now. We see that it falls. It can be influenced by gravity. When we change the perspective, we might even see that it falls through the plane. Why is that? It not yet has the attribute of a collision body. So we select collision body, select the object, choose a collision shape, and give the new attribute a name, like CB for collision body. The ground plate is predefined as collision body already. So when we start the simulation we see that the bodies collide. They even highlight by collision. The ground plate is not a rigid body though. To add a new component we go to the design collaboration section, select add component, select the folder icon and then we can select our object and confirm with OK. We have to confirm again and then we want to move our component. Uh, before that we want to change the perspective and then we select the component and the icon move component. Then we can see we have different axes with which we can drag the object around like this. And in the end we have to confirm with OK. Let's see what happens when we start the simulation. We see that the marble is covered up by our ramp. The reason is it is not defined as collision body. To select the whole object and not just those surfaces, we can switch the tab and select it as part. Then we can also define the collision shape and give the hull another name. In this case uh, we want to see that we also add in the collision shape type. If we start the simulation again, we can see that the marble is rolling off the ramp. 
let's add another amp. We choose add component, the folder, and then the ramp. Before confirming again, we can already here specify our orientation. We do this by clicking on the coordinates symbol and moving our object around as we are used to. And we can also use this angle symbol to twist it around. This good also to zoom in to check the orientation and then we can click OK. Now we want to define our new ramp as collision body. For this we select the collision body icon and if we now select the part of the ramp we see that we select both ramps to select either one of them, we have to unpack that um, part file. We can now select the collision shape and give our new ramp a different name. Then we confirm with OK. we now start the simulation, we can see that the marble is acting differently for both ramps. If we now want to take a closer look at our properties, we switch to the Properties tab and select our different attributes of our objects. We can see here that we have a convex shape for our collision body attribute of the second ramp. We can change that by creating a new collision body and then defining a different collision shape type and call it a different name and then click OK. We now have two attributes of collision body for the second ramp. So the first one is still covering the second one. If we now switch over to our properties and delete the old uh, collision body attribute, then we can see that the mesh type collision body shapes are left and they act both in the same way. The different types of collision shapes vary in their memory requirements and behavior. That's why a user should consider and evaluate different options pertaining to the desired functionality and simulation performance. What we're now going to do is to compare the behavior of the different friction property settings. So first we're going to right click on the part of the ramps and select copy and then paste it in the same folder. Then we're going to select move component and select a different orientation for the new ones. Having done that, we change our view and want to copy and paste the old sphere. So we have two. Also here, 
specify a new orientation. Then we still want to define our new objects as uh, rigid bodies or collision bodies. So we select the items, select rigid body, then select it again and define it as collision body with its shape like sphere. And the same we do with our ramps as collision body but we don't have to define them as rigid body because they're not going to fall anywhere anyways. So after we see all the properties that we would like to have in our physics navigator we can change the perspective and choose a different time scaling so we can see the simulation slower. And then start the simulation and see that the balls move simultaneously. Then we can define a different color for our second ball and change our friction properties. We do that by clicking on the collision property of our second marble and then select create new collision material and changing its friction parameters. To have a stronger effect we're going to do the same thing with our ramps. We select the collision material and define it as the new collision material and then repeating that with the other ramp. After we're finished we can change the perspective and start the simulation. Now we can see that the marbles move differently. For fun we're now going to change the friction properties to some unreasonable uh, values like dynamic friction 0 and restitution 1 and we're going to see that the bouncing is really high and there's no rolling taking place. Also we can see here the new collision material highlighted when we select it. Yeah, and there you can see it didn't roll at all.